Good day, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to share with you the findings of our study of the effect of an infant um, formula supplemented with 2-FL on pathogenic bacteria during early infancy. We all know that human milk oligosaccharides are the third largest solid uh, component in uh, breast milk after lactose and lipids. There is accumulating evidence suggesting that HMOs offer a selective advantage to beneficial microbes and suppressed pathogens, which may protect infants from infectious disease. 2FL is generally the most abundant HMO and ranges from 1 to 4 gram per liter in breast milk and is now used to supplement infant formula. There are, however, still limited data on the effects of 2FL on beneficial and pathogenic bacteria species in the infant gut. The primary results for growth and the secondary results for gastrointestinal tolerance and safety were previously reported. Now I would like to go over the secondary fecal microbiota results in this presentation. The secondary objective for fecal microbiota were the evaluation of the effect of infant formula supplemented with 2FL on the abundance of selected, beneficial and pathogenic bacteria. With a secondary endpoints, the fecal bacteria species and anthrotoxin targets at baseline, namely at age less than two weeks, and at one, two, three months of age using qPCR. On this slide, you see the study design. It is a multi-center, randomized, controlled, double-blind study of healthy infants, infants from Belgium and Italy. We had first a reference non-randomized breastfed group, and otherwise a randomized group assigned to a control and a test group. Control and test formula are similar, except for the addition of 2FL at one gram per liter of reconstituted formula in the test group. We saw the infants at baseline at the age of one, two, three, and four months, and followed them up until six months of age. In this slide, you see that 352 infants were assessed for eligibility. 60 were put into the non-randomized breastfed group, and the other 289 were randomized into the two groups. Here you see the different figures of infants uh, that were put into the intentional to treat um, analysis, the full analysis, and the per protocol analysis. This slide shows the baseline demographic and maternal characteristics in the three groups, the non-randomized breastfed and the two randomized test and control groups. And you see that there is no difference among the three groups, except for um, the uh, a higher percentage of the modest education, modest uh, completing college in the breastfed group. As for the primary endpoint, there was a non-inferiority of weight gain in the test group versus the control group. Clostridium difficile, which is an opportunistic pathogen associated with diarrhea, was significantly lower in the test group compared to the control group. The test group you see in light blue, the control group in dark blue. At each post line visit, the test group was closer to the breastfed infants compared with the control group. Clostridium perfringens, which is another opportunistic pathogen associated with diarrhea, was numerically lower in the test group in light blue versus the control group at all three baseline visits and was also closer 
to the breastfed infants. In C-section infants, the abundance of Klebsiella pneumoniae, an opportunistic pathogen causing a broad spectrum of diseases, was significantly lower in the test group in light blue versus the control at one month of age. What concerns other bacterial and anthrotoxin targets, we can say that these bacterial and anthrotoxin targets were mainly below the lower limit of detection in all feeding groups, and therefore no analysis was possible. And that was the case for Campylobacter coli, Campylobacter jejuni, anthropathogenic E. coli, anthropathogenic E. coli, heat, labile, and stable, and salmonella. Bifidobacteria abundance in the test group in light blue tracked more closely to that of the breastfed group over the three months of age compared with the control. So in conclusion, we can say that a lactobacillus reutery containing infant formula supplemented with 2FL at a dosage of one gram per liter supports appropriate growth, which was shown in the previous abstract, is associated with a lower abundance of pathogenic bacteria during early infancy, did not show an obvious incremental bifidogenic effect of 2FL in addition to l reutery which has been shown to support a favorable gastrointestinal environment for bifidobacteria growth and to correct dysbiosis, particularly in C-section infants, and may play a role in shifting the gastrointestinal microbial pattern towards that of breastfed infants. I would like to acknowledge the investigators and their study teams for their major contribution to this clinical study, and of course, also sincerely thank all families and caregivers who consented to their infants' participation in this trial. Thank you for your attention.